and I can go first. Yes, sure. Going first is just great. And I actually start Spirit 2. Come on. <laughs> Let's see what my opponent's what my opponent plays. Yeah, I see Plasma Energy. Oh, and this looks like version Genesec. So, let's see. I really hope um, this will turn out in my favor. I get an Ultra Ball. He starts version. So, okay. I don't actually want to discard a Double Colorless or anything on my hand, but I have to. And I think, well, Double Color is actually very important in this matchup. I, I have to discard, like, the next potion twins. And then grab Trip Pinch. Do I have Mr. Mime in my deck? No, I, only, I have neither Mr. Mime nor Pichu. But when the opponent went first, you don't need Pichu as much. Like, if I if my opponent went first, I would have now got Ultra Ward Pichu and then get everything. But since it's prized, I can't. And my opponent went first anyway, so I cannot attack. Then I can play Professor Oak. And I hope I get level ball, or... Nope, unfortunately no level ball. I still attach Floss into my spirit room because I can't allow it to get knocked out. And then I will beach for... Hmm, I can get Rare Candy Flygon next turn. And then beach again, but this is far from optimal. So let's see, he discards Jirachi EX, just goes straight for Genesec. I guess he would then just attach an energy reversion and start using Emerald Slash. Or, well, he benched Celebi straight for Chorus Machine, so he just tries to rush me. And he plays Ed, which is, depending on what I draw now, like, I think I have a better chance of drawing a better hand or an equal hand. But this just looks like not a, not a really good hand. Yeah, and he could have knocked out my Spirit Tomb if he went uh, very lucky, which fortunately for me, he didn't. So now I can... Auto ball for uh, level ball, I mean, for another. Well, I, I, I will go for another dust cool, I think, because I need to promote something now. I don't want to get a, rid of a trip inch, but I need to hope he doesn't have switch energy and then plus more energy in his hand. And I'll just use tropical beach. And this hand is still not very great. Yeah, so he attached the grass energy from his hand. Um, this means he doesn't... Uh, can He cannot use Red Signal this turn, so my Spirit Tomb is safe. And he plays Professor Oak's Theory. Phew, okay, that was... I would say that was kind of close. I don't know how many Switch he plays. And yeah, he can just free retreat, go for Genesect. And now it's actually very interesting if he puts that on this bench, because he shouldn't. Again, Surgeon Genesect, you should try to get a bench very low. But he does so anyways. So he gets his first prize card. I can promote Spirit Tomb. Uh, None Pokemon has any retreat cost at the moment. I get another rare candy, which is not what I wanted. And I Skylar for Ultra Ball now. Where I can discard one rare candy, and I don't really want to discard a Floodstone. I also can't retreat a Super Rod because I need Super Rod for my Spirit Tomb. Um, so I actually have to discard one rare candy and one Floodstone. Which for both cards I don't want to discard. But that is, this is why I play Junk Arm anyways. So I can evolve here. Retreat. And use Tropical Beach. And I got a, I got a Max Potion, which is fair. And I also got a Mewtwo, so I can... If I really ne need to get Knockout on these I can I can get the knockout and he uses red signal for Dusko and not for uh, Spirit Tomb which is kind of interesting but I'm fine with this uh, the dust now of course is, is such a great card but it's not too important to be honest so 
uh, like the max potions for Flygon are very important. As long as I have my Spirit Tomb in play, you can't use G-Booster. So you can't one-hit knockout Flygon. Yeah, and Mega Clock Cannon, I guess he would then do 40, uh, 20 on the Flygon. So now I have to play Max Potion for 40 damage, which is very annoying, but well, better than getting knocked out. All right, so hmm. I think I still need the Dusk Hole at some point. And like Mewtwo D is 100 damage against Genesect. Um, I play two Super Rod and I have no Super Rod in the discard pile. So I will play, first I will play Ultra Ball with two Scrapper Super Rod to get discard off my Mewtwo um, and grab I think I'll go for Shelmet or another Trapinch. Hmm, let's think. I, I, I need some damage and I have Max Potion anyway, so I, I get a Shelmet. So Shelmet, then I can Max Potion here. Then I can Super Rod for the Mewtwo I just discarded. And this way I got, I saved like one card. He only has two plus energies left, but if he has, sh like, if he has Shadow Tried, he can't retreat and then attack again. Uh, if he doesn't have like a switch, so he would need switch Shadow Tried or the plus energy, just in hand. I don't really want to risk losing another double colorless. Oh, I don't have any medical colors, so I think that's fine to attach. And then go for Tropical Beach. And I drew, I drew kind of well. So if he goes for Red Signal, I can play N. Oh, this is a very... <laughs> this is like the hardest matchup <laughs> you can face. And he gets another energy, so he can Red Signal. Let's see if he goes for a Shelmet or Spirit Tomb. This time he actually goes for a Spirit Tomb. So I really need, I really need Super Rot level ball. Which is very unlikely to draw, but <laughs> let's see. Maybe I, maybe I get lucky. And, well, let's see. I can't bench my Mewtwo now. <laughs> I need to use this, like, a finishing Pokemon. He Junk Arms. Uh, let's see, maybe for a Switch to get more energies in play with the Celebes. So he gr does grab a Switch, but he doesn't use it. So I don't really know why he would use his Junk Arm. Maybe discarding cards for preparing for N. I didn't see what he discarded, but... Okay, so I get another Sand Slammer. So now I need a lot of things at once. So I play N. Then I didn't cause like anything. Um, the problem is, like it's it's not very likely he gets uh, a red signal now after I used N. But he will, I guess he will get... G booster, like... Uh, I will just bench Mewtwo DCE and, and hope for the best. And then use Tropical Beach. So I got Computer Search Twins uh, Red Candy, so I can search my deck for a lot of cards next turn. And I kinda need to, like... Well, I don't like to use the word, like, pray and hope to get what I need. Okay, Ultra Ball, that, that looks like he has a uh, bicycle. Or maybe he just wants to thin out his deck and has Professor Sycamore. Uh, I mean, Professor Juniper. And what is last deck card? What is it? Ah, oh, Professor Oak. So, <laughs> actually, the best card he could have uh, when you expect he has a supporter. So, let's see. He has a G Booster, so he can knock out my Flygon. And, but he cannot knock out my uh, Mewtwo, so. This is good, this is very good, because now I can... Well, let's see what I can use here. Um, 
So first of all, I discarded two energy cards. So Mewtwo deals only 60 damage. But this is still, I think, a very decent amount. Because what I can do is... Um, I will computer search for Dusknor, then Candy Dusknor and I will play N. So he has 100 damage here, which means I can knock out the Genesect, so I can draw whatever I want from my press cards. This is nothing important, like when I draw after the end, when I draw Rare Candy, I want to take my flag on, so I will play um, N first and then draw the press card. So I play computer search. For Dusknor, I play Rare Candy Dusknor. I attach the double colorless energy. Now I play N, so let's see. I got a Rare Candy perfect, so I can get another. And now I have to use the very annoying Sinister Hand. So I move all damage from here. And this is actually very, very interesting because because he knocked out my Flygon, I'm able to knock out the Genesect. Otherwise I would have knocked out the Celebi and I would have less damage, which I actually need. So it was, it's just funny. Like it wasn't a misplay from him, but uh, it's actually something I, I thought about a bit. Like when I knock out the Celebi, I lose all my damage. Yeah, but now I can uh, actually not even sure anymore if I can knock out all the Pokemon I need to. Well, let's just, uh, we will see. <laughs> I can't think I am uh, under time pressure. So this goes to 90 damage and I deal 100. Yeah, that's, that's definitely enough. So I can grab Flygon and I'll take another Twins. And I should have got the double colorless. Uh, and then use Sinister Hand again. So it's five years X up. I deal 100 damage, so this one needs 20 damage more. I don't want to waste damage, so I cannot put more damage on the Genesec than it needs. And then I can X-Ball. And I get the knockout perfect. And now I can get my double colorless energy and Mr. Mime. Yeah, and now I'm actually in a very good position. Like he only has uh, three hand cards. I have a big Mewtwo. Uh, he uses Forest Breath on his Verision, which is also good. He takes energy active and he uses Tropical Beach. So, whew, I, I uh, did manage to not get knocked out this turn. So let's see, I could knock out the Shaman now, get a prize, but I will retreat into Flygon. Oh, wait a second. I can, I can retreat into a Selgorb and because of version he doesn't get, well, he would still get knocked out. Well, so I can do this next turn. Um, do I have any item that will help me now? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I never did this in my life. I always wanted. I play Junk Arm for computer search. And then I can computer search for N. <laughs> and I think this will win me the game. I can also just attach the double colorless energy and then play N. I lose like my hand, and my, my opponent loses his hand too, so I can play level wall for a Sagor. I 
I only have nine deck cards left. I should have uh, took this into consideration too. And then use Tropical Beach. And now Sand Slammer will just do the rest. I can knock out the Bench Shaman, uh, Celebi, I mean, and then knock out the active one. And now my opponent again, only three deck, uh, only three hand cards, no Genesect in play, and now he needs a lot, a lot at once. Uh, he benches Genesect, which means more Pokemon will get damage. He already has, um, he has 60 damage on board, so he has enough damage in play for me to knock out the Celebi. Uh, he goes for a Junk Arm, let's see what he's getting out of it. So I, he, there is... Well, in theory, he could actually knock out the Mewtwo if he has a Plasma Energy, two Grass Energies and a Switch, but this is very unlikely because I played the N and I'm so gra Like, this is actually the first time I won this matchup. What does this do? Caterpie? Okay, this is actually very interesting. Uh, like, this is <laughs> just like a top meta deck and he plays like a random Caterpie. Yeah, now he goes for Bicycle. Uh, dual ball doesn't look like he got what he wants. If he has Smurgle, like it's the only thing my opponent didn't play what he should play, I think, is Smurgle because that just gives you an extra supporter. So he uses Forest Breath, he puts Revision on this bench, but now I can just Sand Slammer. Retreat, knockout, and I won the game. Wow, this is so exciting. Um, and I also have three minutes left. Perfect. Well done. Yeah, and so it ends my great game against the Russian Genesect. First time I actually won. And again, my feature is prized. It's always prized against Surgeon Genesect. Like every game I had against it, it was prized. And I jump on for Floatstone. And I can X Ball. And yes, this is the power of Flygon Dusknoir. Like my opponent really tried to outplay in the Dusknoir by always getting rid of the Dusk Codes, but. He wasn't able to. Uh, yes. I did it. <laughs> so great. And now I can I can play my last round of the tournament. Maybe this will be another version Genesect. Because I think when you just play version Genesect with Celebes and Smurgles, then it's like an auto pilot and you can get like unlimited plasma free booster. And this is very annoying because they should make they should make these cards available somehow. Like there was one like one month where you could get a triumphant booster. I got like I spent all tokens I had on triumphant booster, but I didn't get any Selby. And this is like so annoying. They make it really impossible to get old cards, which I think they shouldn't because it's unnecessary. To make it so hard to get these. And okay, my opponent plays Psychic. Hmm. So it's either version Genesect with like one Keldeo and one uh, Deoxys or just a weird deck, I don't really know. Uh, but let's see first what I get. Um, my start doesn't look good. If I play against version Genesect, I think I, I will lose. Uh, unless I have maybe one, I have Pichu. I can get Pichu. Okay, my opponent starts Smeargle. And it looks like he plays Empoleon. So Empoleon Dusk Nord is an interesting matchup. But because my hand is just nothing, I, I think I have to go Pichu. I'll just put it on my hand, put it on the bench, and end my turn. I can't attack turn one. This is annoying, but that's the rule. 
I think you shouldn't be able to deal damage turn one. And attacking is fine. So he attacks slots onto Smigel, which is great. And he plays N, so. If I get a supporter, he can use Portrait. If I don't get a supporter, I can use Playground. So it's fair, I think. I get Professor Sycamore, so maybe he has cards in his hand he doesn't want to discard. This is often the case. But his hand was like the perfect discardable hand. And I hope I don't draw anything problematic. At the moment, I cannot go for Dusknor and be Brava, and then just you super out of the way. If I get Rackany, that would be pretty cool, because then he can't knock out my Dusko with uh, his Dusknor. But let's see first. Um, I get computer search. So I can computer search for rare, rare candy. And then I need a float stone. And super rod for through to be brava. And Janipa. Hopefully, Floodstone, and here it is. Nice. Uh, I can retreat. I can even junk uh, to scrap his Floodstone. And then I can Playground and get my full bench. Yes. So I take two of these, one Shamit. Yes, because he can't knock out the Dust Nori. It's so easy anymore. Mm. Oh, I even had one space left. That's annoying because I don't just play it this way, but well, fair enough, fair enough. Um, so the Pichu stays asleep, which means it doesn't get damage because of his uh, poker body. As long as Pichu is asleep, it doesn't get any damage from attacks. So let's see, he goes for a drunk arm, maybe for. Um, oh, rare candy, I see. And he also didn't use propagation first, so there was something he wanted to discard. And here we see the Empoleon, this was one of the best decks uh, back in the day where you could use attack command and then move all the damage on the bench with Dusknor. And with Propagation you could just uh, always draw two cards without discarding anything. Yeah, now he goes for Professor Oak, um, 25 deck cards left, I, I could in theory I think uh, deck him out. And the good thing is I should I actually think I have a better matchup because he can I can max potion all the damage he does. But he can't because yeah I need to handle everything. Also the paralyzing is annoying, so as long as I can prevent him from getting a lot of damage on board, I think I'm in the better spot. And I want to save my ends, so I play Professor Oak. I get Flygon, I don't get Rack Handy, but I get another Shamut, attach double colorless, and then I can use Tropical Beach. I get Rack Handy, I also wake up, so if he knocks out the Pichu, it's fine because then I can play Twins. So let's see. Um, there is also nothing like uh, Lysander in this format. I guess I said that already, but without Lysander and the only card to get opponent's Pokemon active is Genesec, which is one of the reasons why it's so OP in this format, and Pokemon Catcher. So you have to play like Junk Arm, Pokemon Catcher the whole time in order to just get knockouts uh, on bench Pokemon. So this is what gives Flygon a lot of strength. And uh, since you don't have a lot of space in decks with so many stage 2s, you can play... Um... Oh, he plays N. This is... Portrait for N is, uh, came in my way now. Well, because you can't play a lot of cards in these decks because they're not that consistent, you always have the struggle with um, space, and then you can play Pokemon Catcher. So I'm very fine here at this position. 
I just, like, when I get a, a rare candy from top of my deck, that would be perfect. But I have the Fruit Tree Dusknor in play, so... That's, that's fine. And since we all have a full bench, he can get a little damage on Shelmet. So I can, if everything goes wrong, I can just retreat for Shelmet and then... But I get Red Candy, perfect. Uh, so... Red Candy Flagon, I can also play Town Map, see what my prize cards are. My Astagos prize, because I only play one, this is not good for me. But it's it's all right. I can play N. Um, yeah, I, can, I even have BV Brava. And I have twins, so I can twins for a lot of stuff. And should I bench anything? I don't think it's important to bench any Pokemon. But there is also nothing else I really want to put down, so I just go for Dusko in case, and then use Tropical Beach. And now I have so many bench Pokemon that he is forced to... Like, he deals 120 damage, because Attack Command for one energy uh, deals 10 for each Pokemon we all have in play, so 5 for each bench Pokemon, that's 100, and then 10 for each active. So, 120 damage. But there is no Sky Feed and there is no Muscle Band, so he actually caps at 120 and you cannot because of the space you cannot play something like plus power so my flag on the safe even if i bench the extra bench pokemon but this way i can um i can draw more cards with tropical beach and because i need max potion now this is very important because i need to play max potion every turn otherwise he can uh, knock out my bench shamans um this is good for me so He plays Dowsing Machine. This is actually very interesting because Dowsing Machine is, uh, has not a lot of value in this format because of Junk Arm. So whenever I see someone playing Dowsing Machine, I wonder, like, hmm. Because especially he plays Junk Arm and Dowsing Machine. So usually you would play like one computer search, like cut Ultra Ball. He could have cut his Ultra Ball. Maybe he doesn't play Ultra Ball, that's a possibility. So as long as I don't play as long as I don't draw prize cards, I can every turn twins for max potion. And then end my turn, I guess. Uh, yeah, I need to think during my opponent's turn what I'm going to do next. So my goal is to knock out uh, all Empoleons at once. I can deal like 70 damage to the active in theory. So here I have 30 on everything at the moment. So 180 damage in, in, in total. Which means I could knock out these two. That would cost 160 damage. But then I couldn't knock out Empoleon. And now he evolves, so this is not a possibility anyway. So I will just try to use all my Max Potions and all my Junk Arms to get rid of Flygon's damage and hope he doesn't play Max Potions. I can just wait. I suppose. So he goes for Attack Command again. Now I will twins for two drunk arms. Now get all all the value from my twins. So I can use Dusknor to knock out uh, this Primplup. And again, like I said in the game before, you never try to knock out Pokemon. You put so much HP so as they have ten left. So this one here has 20 left, I move one extra. And of course, don't forget to use uh, Max Potion. And 
and then I can end my turn. Now the print block gets knocked out. And I can get my Osagor. So now I deal 10 damage less every turn. Usually I deal 120 every turn. But now when he has not enough bench Pokemon, it's not so much, so you don't you try to not knock out Pokemon. Because it could mess up your twins, like it does at the moment. It can mess up your ends, which you don't want. So knocking out Pokemon is very un well you don't want it. So yeah, now he plays N. I need Max Potion. I get Skylar and Junk Arm, so I definitely have the option. I also have like level walls, so I have all the cards I need, no matter what I want to do. The only thing I can't do is retreat as I go and Max Potion. So let's see first. Uh, I can evolve. And I have 50. 40, so I have 90 damage here. I can knock out this Pokemon. Well, so I just go for our Junk Arm for Max Potion. And then just use Level Ball and Beach. I need to get I need to move the damage from the little Pokemon because otherwise it gets knocked out and I lose the damage. And these are not Pokemon I want to knock out, so uh, always keep in mind that you should not knock out the Pokemon by accident. And also try to make uh, Max Potion uninteresting. Because he should play Max Potion. Uh, now I need a second to think. If I put... Uh, here are 60 damage, so I could knock out... I could knock out this Apollyon. But I will wait a turn. Now I still do 100 damage when I it's my turn again, so because I don't have any damage on board, it's not, not a big problem for me. And N, because I still have 5 prize cards, N is not great so I will just wait a bit and let the damage stack up more I have one last max potion yeah he even plays chorus I have one last max potion so if I knock out all the hitters he has in one turn he can't do anything no matter what so I'm in the better spot like if we both get our, our setup that we want I will win because of max potions and he can't use Max Potion so good as I can. Well, and he uses Diving Draw, draws more cards. I don't think any one of us will really lose to deck out. I, it's really hard for me to lose deck out because I can always shuffle a Selva back in my deck. But of course, that can get knocked out. And when I run out of Super Rush, sorry, when I'm forced to discard cards uh, in an unfortunate way, I, you can always lose. And he attack commands, and he gets damage. And now I can do the perfect turn, which is Skylar for Max Potion. Then I can use Dusknor, Sinister Hand. So I deal 50, I deal 70 damage to the active with uh, ability poison damage so i have to put i have to keep si si 70 damage here um i put the bench one on 130 so it gets knocked out by the damage uh, from between turns and like i said like you save damage this way and then i will also knock out the dusk nor this turn so this is a big turn where i knock out every pokemon from my opponent at once even though i could wait more get more value out of the Flygon, but I want to play it safe. And when he benches, even if he benches like a print loop, I can knock out that one. So... Uh, 
And that's enough. Then I can retreat. They can cover 50 damage and it's poisoned. It, the psycho gets shuffled back, I promote flag on. Now gets poison damage and then everything gets 10 from Sand Slammer. And all Pokemon that are a problem for me get knocked out at once. I just get Mewtwo because it deals a lot of damage at once to get an easy prize card and I won the game. So this is just, you see how, how strong uh, this deck is. I won a few Plasma Freeze um, booster packs. Uh, so I can use this to trade. Maybe if I if I win more, this is the first tournament I ever played in Legacy. So if I win a few more, I can maybe get uh, Celebi Primes or uh, Smuggles to play better decks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was really fun for me to try out decks uh, with what I had. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, leave it and see you next time.